If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey, fools. Big T here with another video. And this one is about how I feel about people comparing the Wii U sales to Nintendo Switch. Um, I just think that it's a kind of a strange thing <laughs> to do. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that. Well, anyway, we all know the, the Switch uh, has surpassed 10, min 10 million sales worldwide, which is an awesome thing in just over nine months, which is you know pretty amazing you know you're talking uh the as far as that goes we're talking the records uh you know, of, like the wii and uh ps4 um in its first year so that is a you know, pretty good company to be in and that you know switch should be applauded for that nintendo should be applauded for that and it's a really great thing but what i hear over and over again uh, which i think is somewhat silly and I'll get into why um, is you know people basically clamoring for or talking about how the the switch is about to surpass the we use total life in uh, you know in less than a year or about a year and that is phenomenal that's crazy that's great and I would say not really. I would say it doesn't speak to how well the Switch is doing more than it speaks about how bad the, the Wii U did. It's, I mean, we're talking about 13 point, what is it, uh, 65 or 85, somewhere around there, million units sold in its entire life. And, you know, that is not good at all. I mean, that is nobody. I don't think would argue that and to compare uh, or to just to say because the switch is going to pass that in a year means how great it is no not not <laughs> not really um, the switch is selling as good as a good modern console should sell um, it's a it's above average I would say it's above average uh, because it's closer to we um, you know, at nine months, if it hits, I think I think the Wii sold 14 million or something, or close to that in its first year. Um, and the Switch could totally do that. It, it's possible. I'm not sure if it'll quite get there, but it's possible for it to do that. And I just think bringing up the Wii U every time you talk about the Switch's sales is just kind of weird because Wii U is one of the worst selling consoles of all time. So for the switch to beat that is no feat it's like saying what well, why not bring up <laughs> uh, how fast it beat the the dreamcast or how fast it beat the saturn or um i don't know turbo graphics 16 or something you know like let's compare it to a more comparable let's compare it to a gamecube even or a nintendo 64 or something like that i think you know obviously those are not modern consoles um, and sales for those are different, you know, because game consoles didn't sell as fast as in, in those days, and I get that. But I just think that um, comparing it to the Wii U's lifetime uh, as some kind of feat, I mean, it's, it's great that it didn't, that the Switch uh, didn't sell or, did, you know, didn't struggle as much as the Wii U did. That's a great thing, obviously, but, you know, I think... Um, I'll do I can. Thinking it's amazing or something because it uh, beat the Wii U set. I, mean, I just, I don't know. May, I'm, am I on? Am I off here? I just feel like that's not some barometer to judge the uh, Switch's success on. The Switch is a successful console. It's going to continue to sell really well, and um, I don't know. I feel like I, I don't know what it is. I just think it's strange that. Uh, people keep bringing that up. I mean, obviously, this is that is Nintendo's last console. Um, but, you know, unlike maybe the separatists or the haters would say, this, the Wii U isn't some kind of uh, barometer for Nintendo's success or anything either. Nintendo has been, the, the Wii before it destroyed Wii U. So, you know, and even the game, I mean, the GameCube 
um, was Nintendo's other least uh, lowest selling console, but it fared, you know, nearly 10 million, 10 million more better than what the, what the uh, Wii U did. So, I don't know, I just think uh, it doesn't really make that much sense to do that. I mean, I, if you put them together, it obviously makes the Switch even look better or crazier, or the sales look crazier. But, you know, the Wii U was an anomaly. The Wii U wasn't, um, you know, wasn't the standard for Nintendo sales either. So it doesn't make sense. The Wii U was an anomaly, and the Switch isn't an anomaly to me because there's another console on Nintendo out there that did just as good or better. And you had, you know, other successful consoles from Nintendo, like the NES and the Super Nintendo. So um, the Wii U is the anomaly. So to compare um, one of your best-selling consoles at this point, anyway, to the anomaly console, you know, it'd be like comparing <laughs> it'd be like comparing um, Game Boy Advance to um, to the Virtual Boy. Like, does that make sense? I don't think anybody did that. Nobody was like, you know, after or Game Boy Color even like after the debacle that was the Game Boy Advance or the um, not Game Boy Advance. Forgive me. Debacle that was the Virtual Boy. Um, you know, people didn't think it was the end of Nintendo like they did with the Wii U, but people didn't say, "Oh my God, is the end of Nintendo handheld?" Because the Virtual Boy didn't do well, and this next console better do well. And so, obviously, you know, if you want to say maybe Game Boy Color, or I would say Game Boy Advance because that was the, actually the next console. The Game Boy Advance comes out. And it does well and people start saying oh man it outsold the virtual boy and such a, like that <laughs> to me that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense it's kind of strange so it <laughs> it almost feels like people can't wait for it to happen like they can't wait for the switch to pass up the wii u in sales to i don't know like validate their nintendo fandom or <laughs> like it's like yeah hurry up and erase the wii u you know so, <laughs> I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. I, I could be off be off base with that, but it feels like Nintendo fans are just... Some Nintendo fans are excited or just can't wait for the Switch to surpass the Wii U in sales. And first, maybe that would prove that the Switch is going to be a success, even though I don't think it needs to do that to be a success. I think it's already proven, but it feels like these guys are just clamoring uh, for that to happen. So, you know, they can validate. It's a, it'd be a vindication, a validation of their Nintendo fandom. See? N Nintendo is great. The Switch proves it. That's why... And maybe that somehow would erase uh, the, the Wii U from existence <laughs> to them in their minds or something. I don't know. Uh, this, is, this is one of the many reasons that I don't feel like I would ever reach mainstream... YouTube success because um, I tend to think about things a little further and I don't have this mainstream kind of group think and that rubs people the wrong way a lot of times so that, I think that's one of the things that holds me back quote unquote holds me back as far as reaching uh, a broader mainstream success on YouTube because I just I kind of I'm an, I'm an observer and I like to pick things apart and look at them and study things and study people's reactions and you know people's psychology and sociology that's just kind of like what i like to do and sometimes that that'll bear out in comedy like skits or i'll just do like you know just commentary so um yeah i just think it's <laughs> this is my this is an observation of mine so um that's basically what's going on with the the wii u uh and the switch to sales being compared it's like that was an anomaly. If Wii U was an anomaly, Nintendo's consoles do uh, usually do way better than that. So, comparing it to its worst-selling console doesn't make sense, you know. Not to me, anyway. Maybe, um, maybe I'm missing something. You guys can let me know in the comments below. Uh, as always, again, uh, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and listening, and uh, see you fools next time. Peace out.